Mastering the past perfect passive, expressing completed actions in context. Hello, language enthusiasts. In today's video, we're diving into an intriguing aspect of the English language, the past perfect passive. Specifically, we're going to explore how we can use this tense to describe completed actions that occurred before another past action. This might seem complex, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll be wielding the past perfect passive like a pro. The past perfect passive is formed using had been followed by the past participle of the verb. The structure is subject plus had been plus past participle. An example is the cake had been eaten by the time I arrived. In this sentence, the cake is the subject had been eaten is the past perfect passive verb and the eating of the cake is an action that was completed before another past action my arrival now let's see how we can apply the past perfect passive to describe completed actions before another past action when the doer is unknown unimportant or obvious we often use the past perfect passive when it doesn't matter who performed the action. For instance, the report had been completed before the deadline. Here, it's not important who completed the report. When we want to emphasize the action, not the doer. If the action itself is more important than the person or thing doing it, we use the past perfect passive. For example, the damage had been done before we realized the mistake. Remember, practice is key when learning new tenses. Let's practice with a few sentences. Turn this active sentence into a passive one. The team had cleaned the stadium before the match. The passive form is, the stadium had been cleaned by the team before the match. Now, let's try a more complex sentence. She had finished the project before the due date. The passive form is, the project had been finished by her before the due date. Well done, everyone. You've just added another useful tense to your English toolkit, the past perfect passive. Remember, it's used to describe actions that were completed before another action in the past, and is especially handy when we want to emphasize the action over the doer. So, keep practicing and you'll become more comfortable and natural with it in no time. We hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next one, and as always, happy learning!